On the 4th of April 2017, NIMS and the Gurkha Everest expedition team landed at Lukla at an altitude of 2,860 meters and started the two-week trek up to base camp at 5,400 meters. The team progressed slowly, ensuring they were acclimatized to the altitude as they went. As NIMS had previously summited Everest in 2016, training the team to cross the icefall fell to him. The techniques had to become second nature as climbers relied on them at night during the ascent and descent when extremely tired. Before climbing in the Himalayas, it's tradition to hold a puja ceremony to pray to the mountain gods for good luck and safe passage. Once the team received their blessings from the lamas, they started to climb. To climb Everest, teams have to navigate the Kumbu Icefall, a huge glacier slowly sliding down the mountain. As it moves, huge chunks of ice can fall, endangering the ladders and climbers trying to pass. Tragically, 16 Sherpas were killed in such an incident. Every season on Everest, an official team is responsible for fixing ropes to the summit. But this year, bad weather had held them back. After waiting for two weeks with no progress, NIMS came up with a plan to lead a team of Gurkhas and Sherpas to open the route to the summit themselves. Battling deep snow, the team progressed knowing the main Gurkha team were just 12 hours behind them. Any delays would cause supplies such as oxygen and food to be wasted and could possibly jeopardize the whole expedition. NIMS and the fixing team reached the summit on Everest on the 15th of May, becoming the first to summit from the southern side that year. This allowed the main team of 10 Gurkhas to summit 12 hours behind. After a successful expedition, the team headed back to Kathmandu, leaving Nims on the mountain to prepare for his speed world record attempt to climb from Everest summit to Lhotse summit as quickly as possible. Seven days later, he headed back up the mountain. In worsening weather conditions, Nims summited Everest again on the 27th of May. With only two hours rest at the South Col, he headed towards the summit of Lhotse, the world's fourth highest mountain. 10 hours and 15 minutes after summiting Everest, Nims reached the summit of Lhotse, halving the previous world record. Although exhausted and only two days after getting down to Everest base camp, he was still wanting to explore his mental and physical state by pushing it beyond endurance and flew to the base of Makalu the world's fifth highest mountain. Again, battling severe weather conditions, Nims led his Sherpas to the top, becoming the only team to summit that year and gaining another world record for summiting three 8,000-meter mountains in five days.